regulations heaped on them if they, in the name of safety, consumer safety for items that are already exceedingly safe, yeah. uh, if they heap more regulations, more, you know, more um, rules and bureaucratic stranglehold, then that will also be almost as nice as outlawing it entirely. They'll make the products more expensive. Look, look at the difference in vitamin D in Helsinki versus in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there should be no difference actually uh, at all, but there is. And uh, so they'll accomplish the same thing, all in the name of safety. But in effect, in effect, it's really very evil, and it's killing off a lot of people. And I could give you one example with their propaganda, how they do it, if you want. Yeah, sure. E. Absolutely. Well, this is this is a prime example of what they do. Uh, they have, you know, various people who churn out press releases, and they fund studies. And one of the studies they did, which is an actual example, is they studied the effect of vitamin E on the health of women. And it was a, a fairly large group. And what they did is when they published the results, they came up with one very good result, but when they published the results, they emphasized all the things that vitamin E didn't do. Vitamin, you know, like in the headlines, vitamin E has no effect on cancer was the headline. And then in the storyline, it goes vitamin E, it was shown by researchers, vitamin E had no effect on colon cancer in women. Vitamin E did not reduce the risk of uh, breast cancer in women. Vitamin E did not reduce the risk of, you know, this other cancer and on, 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 on. Then buried at the very bottom, it said vitamin E did have a slight effect reducing by 24% the risk of cardiovascular disease in women. 24%, that's a blockbuster drug. If it had been a drug doing that, yeah, they would have exactly. been trumpeting that to the, to the world, saying it reduced the risk of a woman having heart attack by 24%. That was a quarter. That's yeah. incredible. That's, yeah, that's a quarter. That's one out of four. And get this, that's across all age groups of women. If you take the group that more likely will have a heart attack, because women in, during their uh, menstruating years, their fertile years, they won't tend to have heart attacks at all. Uh, men might, but not women. But you take the age group after menopause, 50 to 65, and that's where you find the women catching up with men in terms of heart attack rates. Mm. And in that age range, 50 to 65, taking vitamin E reduced your risk of heart attack or cardiovascular disease by 50%. 50%. And these assholes didn't even want to tell the world that how many women, thousands of women were scared away from taking vitamin E because of this, because of their emphasizing the wrong thing and misleading people and steering them the wrong way, yeah. when in fact it was extremely helpful for women and men as, as well. But that's what kind of people we're up against. They don't care about how many people they kill. They just care about making their money and yeah. keeping their market share and all of that. And it doesn't mean we need more government to step in to help us. Because the problem is these guys are in bed together. Exactly. The, the thing we need is to get government out of the economy and get them out of bed with these guys. That's where we need to do it. Because we'll, you and I and the ordinary person will never have the time and energy to oversee these government agencies like these drug companies do and the big business does. They've got to be eliminated. Their power has got to be taken away so that they can't control it that way. If, if we had the right to just walk into a supermarket and buy what we wanted, that's what we want. We want yeah. free choice. Exactly. We don't want people telling us that we can't take this other thing. And, and that is where one, you know, only drugs or the like. So that's, that's where, where, where the National Health Federation is the most active is trying to give the consumer freedom of choice. And we're just a consumer organization anyway. We don't represent any of these vitamin companies. They have the CRN and these other outfits to do that. Yeah, right, right. Well, I mean, it's incredibly important work, and I'm so glad that we managed to, with the aid of you and your work, Scott, get this victory and, and, and the fact right. that it's at least been postponed for one year now. So, so you, you, know, yeah. you guys can begin to focus on that and how to battle it next time. But in regards to... Is is there more meetings uh, happening uh, this year at the beginning of the next one, or what are we looking at? Uh, no, there there are no more Codex meetings this year. There won't be any till next year, and uh, so this is this is it for now. And 
it's just more getting the data together and and groups together too. And I would encourage any of the listeners here who who have information that would relate to NRVs that could help us to contact us at nhf.com and the the nhf.com excuse me yep. and uh, to say yes I do have information I'd be happy to help you because we've got to put the paperwork together and we need we have some scientific uh, advisors but we need uh, other support so all help would be appreciated and uh, so please, any of you listening out there, feel free to contact me directly yeah. through the well, directly through the NHF, and uh, <clears throat> and I'd be more than happy to hear from you. Excellent. And again, obviously, we will have the, the links up uh, to to your guys' website from ours, so people can click through from from our website easily. But when uh, I was just thinking about. Uh, how people can help and support you guys as well. Uh, do you have any more material out there, or can people donate to you guys as well? Oh, absolutely, and that's what what really made it possible were the our members who who, who uh, have, you know donated or, or joined the organization that really made it possible for me to be there. So if they go to the website and click on the Join Us button, I think that's what it's called. The uh, <clears throat> join us button and it's really easy to join we're very protective of our membership list we don't trade or give it out in any way join the nhf i think it says and uh it's um it's very inexpensive uh uh to join and yet it really supports us you can also just donate there's also uh other information that's available for sale or for free off the website and if people want they click on the codex button on our website, vnhf.com, and they can find all sorts of information there on codex, including our most recent press releases about this meeting. Uh, but you heard it straight from the horse's mouth here, but uh, you can also read about it as well on our website. And uh, a few other websites have posted it too. So it's, um, you know, it's a developing situation, but it's one that's important, and, and it is true, and I'm glad you mentioned it, that we really need the support of your listeners because without them, without our members, we can't do this. And we that last victory wouldn't have been possible at all. Absolutely. Yeah, so help help Scott and the NHF out. Uh, head on over to the website, uh, check it out and donate if you can and, and help help uh, Scott out with this important work. And there's one thing I'd just like to ask you here at the end uh, about Scott as well before we uh, have to leave you for this time. But uh, that is basically if you have some information about the uh, the, the swine flu. So many people are worried about that now, mm. and still, mm. I can't believe that people are going and taking the vaccinations. But some <laughs> still are, you know. Uh, natural cur- uh, cure for this. I've heard vitamin D. C- can you uh, t- talk about that a little bit? Yes. Uh, well, you're absolutely right. I think it's largely a hoax. More people have died from the ordinary flu than swine flu. It's not to say that there might not be a, a plan out there to introduce something more egregious, but at least uh, their current efforts are failing miserably. And the vaccines that they want to give people aren't even for this uh, version that's out there. So it's ridiculous. Uh, when I was in Finland, I heard of a, uh, there were some um, guys just talking in our group talking about a woman, a pregnant woman, who just received the vaccination, the anti-swine uh, flu vaccine. And then two weeks later, her, her baby was was dead, stillborn. Yep. Yep. And uh, and that's the only thing that could have caused it. So it's a real danger for them to give that kind of an injection to a pregnant woman is criminal, in my opinion, just absolutely obscene. And um, the uh, but the gist of it is, yes, there are lots of natural things you can do. The selenium that I mentioned, 200 micrograms a day, the... Um, the vitamin D at high doses, minimum 5,000 to maybe 10,000 units a day. If you think you've been exposed, even up it to 25,000 a day for at least uh, a week or so. And if again, if it's the natural vitamin D, there should be no risk unless you're a special case situation. But uh, but it's very it's very safe. Lots of people have taken 50,000 units a day for an extended period of time. Um, you know, ranging from uh, few days to a few weeks, but uh, but definitely high-dose vitamin D. Quercetin, the bioflavonoid, is also important. 
adequate levels of vitamin C. All of this is to help activate your immune system, the innate immune system that everyone has, Mm -hmm. you know, the macrophages, so they can attack and destroy the viruses because this is the ammunition that goes to, and the food that goes to fuel the macrophages to to help them deactivate uh, deactivate, uh, 